Uh, sometimes it lets things deflate. But I've had three days to do this. I understand. One thing when I get home. hi guys, what's up guys? For to be more detailed about what's going on, these are all apologies that I've compiled. Um, hi, boo hoo, woe is me. But this is this is what's been going on for the last three days. Hi guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. It's because I am movies. Hey guys. I want to end this video. I want to end this. I want to end. I want to end this. I want to end this. I want to end. I think that I want to end this video with. I want to end this video. I want to end this. Check this out. I want to end this video. Check this out. There's nothing more ingenuine than making a fucking edited video. I've been going in a chat room. Put it down. And tell and asking other people, by the way, I've counted 98 different apologies. There is no better apology than me doing what I've always done, being on live, telling you guys my fucking truth and being completely honest. It's a hard time right now, but recording myself apologizing and recording myself sounding perfectly diplomatic is the biggest fucking lie I can make to you. So I'm just gonna sit here and tell you what's going on in real time. So where are my bullet points? There's a lot of these videos. I was gonna go through all of them, but I feel like everybody would just be sick of that. So I'm gonna start with self-hate. Um, I've seen tweets about me. It's a, it's a video, I, it's not even me, it's my friends helping me see through Twitter with a filter. I'm not on Twitter. That shit hurts my feelings. Seeing people come for me, seeing people. I know exactly what you guys are talking about as far as self-hate goes. I, I had a video of me um, talking about my hair. Um, I have a lot of trouble taking care of, taking care of my hair. So when I am not, either my hair is straightened or I have a wig on, I'm pretty much I'm pretty much okay, but when I'm trying to comb out, wash, do this twist, everything, it's frustrating for me. It's very hard for me. Um, a lot of my friends would agree who have hair like mine, that they have a hard time taking care of it. Uh, what I think that the mistake may have been that I made was saying it on a social platform, saying it out in public, maybe being honest about how I feel about taking care of my hair was a bad idea. To me, absolutely not. Um, if I think that it's difficult, if I feel that it's difficult to take care of my hair, I'm going to state it. If I don't know what it's like to, I'm sure my, my, I'm right now, my hairline is fine. I, I think I look great. I don't look like the most beautiful person in the, on the planet, because that's just fact, but I, I'm fine with my hairline now, but wearing wigs, seeing how my hairline flattened and the tan that you get when you wear it, that shit threw me off. So I'm saying that, you know, I didn't understand the pain that it was to have a wig on all the time and taking it off and seeing the tan line and seeing all that. That bothered me, that pissed me off, I didn't like that. Um, it doesn't in, in no fucking way does it mean that I hate my hair. My hair is amazing. I have beautiful hair. I get lots of compliments on it. It's an outer thing and it's an inner thing. I know that I'm beautiful. I love myself. 
That's why I parade myself on fucking social media constantly. Why do you think I'm on here all the time? All right. Maybe that didn't sum it up for you. I love my, I love my skin color. I think I'm beautiful. The times that maybe there was a, a there was a photo that was uh, lightened to a certain point. That shit just happens. I'm not behind editing my photos. This is a whole team of people who are behind editing. You can speak to them, not me. Now, it says on my bullet points, didn't do nothing. Uh, this is in no way, shape, or form in order uh, of what's most important to what. But it's there, so I'm going to talk about it. Um, so I made a song. I think it was 2015, but that's irrelevant. Um, and it has a very offensive term in it. Um, and it shouldn't be used, period. Uh, I'm going to start with, I'm very sorry to anybody who's taken offense, to anybody who's, to anybody who's, who I've hurt, who I have hurt, uh, using this term. Um, when I used it, it was because I was in chat rooms all the time and I was kind of locked away and I was always on there just dealing with people coming at me left and right, talking about different slanderous terms after another. The term that I used in the song uh, is one that I learned that day. So people were calling me at left and right, left and right, and I used it in a song. And it was to kind of take back and, and fucking just say fuck you to those people. The song, however, I agree, the worst, maybe the worst song in the entire world. Not good. Lyrically, lost. The worst song. The lyrics in the song don't make sense. Um, I see some of the interpretations of the lyrics. A lot of them are wrong. Uh, I can rewrite the lyrics for you guys. I don't know how important that is. Um, but if you need me to, I can. Uh, but that song is in zero ways, in no way connected to police brutality or Sandra Bland. And to see something like that, to see a song, my song that I made connected to an innocent black woman's death is one of the most awful rumors that I've ever encountered. Um, I, I don't, I don't see in any way how that's okay to push and create a story like that around a song that the song that I've made. Next bullet is stripping for white supremacists. Um, I am going to start with the chat room that I go to is a public chat room. It's uh, me, my friends, you go in there. Now you have to pay $30 to get into the chat room, which is a new thing. Um, but I used to go in there for free and I learned, you know, that there are racist people who come in and out of the chat. They're, they're there. They, they happen and then they're banned. The, the, the idea that this chat room is a white supremacist chat room is I, I don't fully I don't understand it in any way and it not even full I just don't understand how you know what I do understand is that there is racism that happens across tiny chat and there is racism that happens across Instagram 
there's racism that happens across Twitter. This shit happens everywhere. It just happens more on TinyChat because it's not as monitored. So when you see racist shit on TinyChat, it's because people aren't paying attention. People, there are mods that are idle. This, this happens. Um, and there was a time where I was a mod and I was able to ban people for actions like that or being her, you know, harassing women. This happens a lot on Tiny Chat, but Tiny Chat is a place for everybody. It's a place for all walks of life. And sometimes it's hurtful to people. It's hurtful to my fans because of me, because I, I spent time maybe not banning at the right. It, I, I've seen it and I've, I, I know that I've been targeted by it and I know that it's controllable. But the narrative that it's a white supremacist chat is completely incorrect. It's, it's absolutely 100% fucking incorrect. Um, the, so I watched a YouTube video by Abba and Preach. Very um, interesting people. Uh, they're, they can be very smart in a lot of, in a lot of subjects. And I, I enjoyed a few videos by them. Um, but there was a video about me that came out a few hours ago. I don't think it's been a day. But the video that came out was about me and it, they, they misinterpreted what I said in a clip on Tiny Chat. So the clip that you see me where I was... And yes, this is me 100% fucking excusing my dumbass behavior. I'm dumb, but I'm also drunk. But on the other side of things, I can, I can be concise. I can be clear. I can speak. I know how to speak. I'm very, I, I am smart, but I'm also kind of a dumbass. In this video, I'm being completely fucking blackout drunk and completely fucking dumb. I have turned off the, the smart switch in my brain, and this is where I'm saying, shut the fuck up, you, and then I say, hard R, the N-word. Now, they thought that I was saying, and maybe some of you thought that I was saying, uh, call me the hard R N-word. I'm in no way into race play. It's not something that... I, I don't know anybody who does it. These people who made this video about me, are Abba and Preach who made this video, uh, it, I think it was Preach that knows people who uh, are into race play. Uh, I am in no way, I don't, I don't even, I just, I am completely not into it. Uh, I'm kinky as fuck, very kinky, um, but, to that extent, no. Uh, so I think that that's where they tied it in. Maybe maybe Preach thought that I was talking about race play or I was trying to perform that in public uh, in some way in the chat. But that's completely fucking false. Um, I think they just misheard me, but that's the truth. Um... Tiny chat being white supremacist, that was one bullet. I, I debunk that. Arabic tweet. Now, the Arabic tweet. A lot of my fans went and pretty much slammed that. Um, I didn't... I haven't addressed it, but I feel like this is the perfect time to. Uh, I have never made a tweet about Arabic people, Arabic culture... I don't even see why someone would do... It's a shitty rumor. It's an awful, horrible rumor. Um, so there's nothing much else to say about that other than that's bullshit. Um, Sandra Bland. 
I clocked that. Um, not showing my boobs. <laughs> We're getting down to the real, to the, to the real fucking, to the unimportant bullshit now. So I have three more uh, left. Maybe one of them is kind of important. Maybe two. Two out of three, I guess. Not showing my boobs. I should have left that for the last. Let's move on to the next one. Dating white men. It's so interesting to me how in these times, me dating white men is in any way, I don't, I don't, I've seen comments about it and it has, it, 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 I'm, completely empty in thought as far as this goes when I love someone when I am attracted to someone when I want to fuck someone I'm gonna either see how that fucking pans out I'm going to talk to them and that's all that fucking matters is what I fucking want what I who I love is zero whether you like me or not, it's zero of your business. If I like someone, if I'm attracted to a person, no matter what their skin color is, no matter where the fuck they come from, no matter what their religion, doesn't matter, I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna fucking love them because I love them. This isn't about fucking, I don't date people based on, I don't even know how to, how to, to, articulate that concept because it's so out of my world i if i love someone i'm not looking at their fucking skin color i find people attractive just because i find them fucking attractive if i find a black man attractive it's because he's fucking attractive if i find an asian man attractive it's because he's fucking attractive if I find a white man attractive, it's because he's fucking attractive. And that's it. But you can create it, you can spin it, and you can do whatever you want. We have a lot of time you want. We have a lot of time. We're on quarantine. We have, we have so much time to sit in bed. If you're not an essential worker, if you're a essential worker, Thank you. Thank you so much. If you're not an essential worker, good luck, motherfucker. And you're trying to make me look like shit on the internet? Good luck, motherfucker. You have nothing else to do. I understand. You have fun. You do that shit. Now, Beyonce TikTok. I saw something about how people thought that I was coming for Beyonce. Beyonce is... Beyonce is the cream of the fucking crop. Beyonce is the reason why I believe that I can be who I am. Beyonce is one of the driving forces of who I am in my career. Beyonce is undeniably talented. In every fucking time anyone has ever came for Beyonce, I was there. And that's all I have to say. That's it. Next fucking bullet. Not showing my boobs. Oh, this is going to be fun. So, I told people on Twitter that I was going to show my boobs to them real hard. Quote, unquote. Um, and... <laughs> some people... Some people think that I was serious. They realized that I wasn't serious very recently. Um, that's my sense of humor. My mistake was thinking that everyone was going to understand my joke. And uh, by the way, I don't give a shit about being fucking famous I don't give a fuck about a number one, okay? I don't even know what that means. 
at this point. Having a number one is, is you have a number one. And that's it. Maybe people buy you fucking, I don't know, they give you sneakers. I don't know what, having a number one is so fucking irrelevant to me. I just like to make music. That's why I'm here. And that's why you know who I am. Because I make music. The not showing my boobs shit. I don't even want to address it. It's a lot of Fortnite kids and gamer kids who just wish they could have seen my, my fucking, my, my boobers. But that's not a fucking, it, it's so, it, you know what? Something that I realized is, is when I post after getting a number one, I said, you know, of course, thank you to my team. Thank you to everybody for working for me, blah, blah, blah. Things like that that are important to thank people for that I, I understand. But saying, oh my God, I can't believe this moment. I really made it to this point. Your favorite artist, and there is no judgment, if they care about that, wonderful. That's fine. There's nothing wrong about wanting a number one and working hard to get to that number one. For me, I don't give a shit. I just want to fucking make music. I don't, I don't care about a fucking... Get, I still don't get it. I just don't get... I don't understand fully what a number one means. It, it, it means you made it number one um, for a week. And then you fucking plummet, like me. My shit's gonna keep going down. There's gonna be times where I start here, and I go here, then I go here, then I go here. It's gonna happen all the time. So, you know, me trying to sell my titties for a number one, that was just a, even more the point that I don't... I'm doing it because I love the people around me. If I want a number one, I'm doing it because I fucking want my fans to be proud of me. I want my team to be proud of me. It's not because, God damn, I need a fucking number one. It's not about that. It's about me just wanting the people around me to be fucking happy. So I just... It's, it's just... It's crazy when, when, you know, it, I get the, I get the joke. I get the, she, you lied. My homies hate Doja Cat. I understand. It's fucking, it might be serious to you. Doxing me is psychotic. Um, but you probably know that. Um, but I understand, you know, I know you guys know the joke around it all. I know the joke, you know, you say you're going to show your boobs real hard and you don't. So I just wanted to say, you know, that's, that's how I feel. The last point that I want to make is that I love you guys so fucking much. I love my fans and I'm so grateful and this is the most coherent and serious you're probably ever going to hear me speak unless it's like some damn award show or something like that I really am so 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 grateful I, I, there's no word for for me to describe how much I love you guys and I really do I I'm so sorry if I hurt you guys and disappointed and offended anybody on Twitter, Instagram, if you're a true fan of me, if you're young, all of my young fans, you know, people who look up to me, you know, my behavior isn't something that always needs to be followed. I'm not perfect. And, but then at the end of the day, I shouldn't be doing dumb shit. But also, I need to stand up for myself. Instead of making a video about 
uh, that's that's diplomatically and politically correct. You know what? Make doing this live may have been the biggest fucking mistake in my career. But I'm fucking I'm just I just don't want to be somebody who's like who's just going to sit there and bullshit you and fucking give you oh I'm deeply and seriously sorry about that woman like I just don't want to be the person who fucking bullshits you and I because I know that what makes me happy is that you guys are happy and you know you know what the fuck is real so thank you guys for supporting me and thank you for being at my shows and being I've I've had so many beautiful shows and just being on my Instagram and my Twitter and my social media and on YouTube, just worldwide supporting me. I, 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 it's the best thing in the world and um, I really appreciate you and I'm sorry if I hurt you or embarrassed you or made you feel in any way upset. Thank you so much. I'm signing out. I'm a little lit. But, uh, thanks. <laughs>